Hello, this is Evan Turk with Fosworks here to guide you on a tour through our development labs here in Hopkinton, Mass. So let's get started. Let's go. First up, we'll enter the analytical development lab. Here, our team transfers and develops API extraction and assay impurity protocols. We have two Shimatsu Prominence HPLC systems, more separation modules from waters for UV or CAD detection, and additional quantitation tools like NanoDrop. Other highlights here include our liquid handler for automated loading and encapsulation efficiency workflows for nucleic acids, and our SOTEX app 4 in vitro release testing apparatus. Moving next door into our formulation lab, we have additional characterization tools for in-process particle size, PDI, and zeta potential characterization by DLS, ELS, or laser diffraction. Most of the activity in this lab will consist of transferring client research protocols for process feasibility and development using microfluidics, impingement jet mixing, or T-junction mixing. Here, we have a handful of systems for protocol transfer and initial feasibility development, such as our ANP system from Particle Works, our Ignite Plus system from PNI, and syringe pump T-junction assemblies. From here, we'll scale successful formulation processes to the Blaze system from PNI or an in-house pressure-driven pump assembly for impingement jet and T-junction mixing. Purification and concentration also occurs here by dialysis and amicon filtration before initiating small-scale TFF development. We'll also conduct any active targeting surface conjugation in the hoods here in the formulation lab. TFF development and scale-up occurs next door in the process optimization lab, which we'll enter now. In addition to larger scale emulsification equipment for the scale up of polymeric systems such as inline homogenizers, the team will scale TFF development to hundreds of milliliters or liters using our Repligen KR2i or KMPI systems. This lab also houses a glove box for clean processing and it houses our Instron for injectability studies where we'll measure syringe breakthrough and glide forces. Wrapping up our first installment of the Phosphorix video series, we'll pass our development tray lyophilizers and freezers. Both of these we utilize for short-term storage stability studies. I hope you've enjoyed this brief video lab tour of our development space here at Phosphorix in Hopkinton, Mass. today. Please stay tuned for future videos where we'll highlight some of the tools that you saw on the tour today, such as our automated encapsulation efficiency and loading workflow. Please also feel free to leave a comment below and let us know what else you would like to see from us in future videos. For now, signing out from Phosphorix and Hopkinton, Mass., this is Evan Turek, and we hope to see you soon.